What the General Assembly has told us is that the reason that we need this amendment is because there's a chance that activist judges in North Carolina might overturn our current law that bans same-sex marriage. The language of this amendment, though, is much broader than that. If what the members of the General Assembly wanted to do was to take the current ban on same-sex marriage and put it into the Constitution, they could have used language very similar to the language in the statute, which says that marriage in North Carolina is only between a man and a woman. What this language does, though, is much broader than that. Its implications would mean that it would ban not just same-sex marriage, but also civil unions, also the domestic partnership benefits that seven municipalities currently give to their employees. It would keep the state itself in the future from giving potentially any rights to unmarried couples. There are a number of states out there that have decided that even if they want to prefer heterosexual marriage, it still makes sense to stabilize the rights of same-sex couples. And so they offer same-sex couples a more limited packages of rights, consisting of, for example, the right to make medical decisions for their partners if their partners should become medically incapacitated, the right to direct the disposition of their, their partner's remains if their partner should die. North Carolina wouldn't be able to pass any one of these.